General Meade called a meeting of all the generals, and this guy Sickles didn't come. So Meade rides out, and he is furious. And he goes to Sickles and says, what on earth are you doing? And Sickles says, well, I like this crown better. And Meade says, this is not what I told you to do. And Sickles says, well, do you want me to retreat? And Meade's looking around, he knows if these guys retreat at this point, they're gonna be taken apart, because these guys are already attacking. So Meade says, no, you've made a terrible mess, now you have to stick around and try to figure it out. So Meade takes off. Okay, I'm gonna do a short version of it, okay? All right, so Hood attacks. Remember, he saw an open way around to go around this way, and he said, Longstreet, please, let's go around this way. And Longstreet says, the old man wants us to attack straight on, so that's what we're gonna do. So Hood comes forward and they fight through this huge mess, the peach orchard, the wheat field, the devil's den, and it's just huge, massive casualties. Hood loses half his men, Hood gets injured, Mike, gets wounded, but they take the devil's den finally. Sickles is galloping around, ignoring the shells and the bullets. He's on top of his horse right now, but then a shell comes that he can't ignore because it hits him right below the knee while he's riding his horse. So imagine what happened to his okay. horse. Okay, his horse probably ended up even worse than he did. He gets knocked off his horse, and his his second his adjutant comes over and says, General Meade, oh, sorry, General Sickles, are you hurt? And he's got you know his bones sticking out, and he's got this huge mess, and the guy was like, yes, I'm hurt. And so he has a he has a tourniquet put on his leg. He remains, he keeps a presence of mind to uh, say, okay, you are now in command. He tells the second in command to take over. And as he's leaving, he heard that people were tell were a rumor was spreading that he had been killed. And so he told the guys to give him a cigar, and he puffed on a cigar to show that he was still alive. 